Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart to find a new meaning. Ever since its release, Last Christmas has earned mixed opinions. Holidays are a busy time, but for some, they help them find closure. Released to theaters in 2019, Last Christmas revolves around a woman who makes terrible decisions. Trying to make better of her life, Kate meets someone. Tom opens her eyes to the world, along with challenging her to accept values and her family. Hearing one spoiler of Last Christmas didn't stop my intrigue of the story. I went into this film with a completely different prediction. Last Christmas has an obvious plot, but it carries a significant message about family and self-care. Amelia Clark does a tremendous job as Kate. Her singing voice is a highlight. At first, I wasn't fond of Kate's immature behavior and attitude. Uncovering the layers, we get to know Kate along with the reason behind who she is. By asking for help, Kate learns to take better control and mend important relationships. People walk into our lives for a reason. The first time I saw Henry Golding was in Crazy Rich Asians. Golding delivers a memorable and dramatic performance as Tom. Clark and Golding worked very well together in their interactions. Their sarcasm was the best. I don't know how I didn't recognize her, but I didn't realize until the end credits that Emma Thompson plays Kate's mom. Thompson is a highlight. She did a great job creating a realistic Yugoslavian accent. Other credits include Lydia Leonard, Michelle Yeoh, Boris Izakovic, Rebecca Root, and Madison Goldsby for her short but memorable solo. My favorite subplot of all in Last Christmas is the relationship between Kate and Santa, played by Michelle Yeoh. Although they've had their ups and downs, the film implements the importance of having social interactions with your boss. I can relate to this. The boss has an essential duty in any business. Never be afraid to make a connection with your boss because they just may pass along advice that you need. In almost every review I have read, audiences constantly pick at the story. There are a variety of subplots regarding Kate and Tom, Kate's family, and Kate's direction in life. Kate's family deserved more attention. The dynamic between the family needed more time for development. Scenes with the family are the best and funny. You can never go wrong with a chaotic family dinner scene. Kate's backstory with her illness could have been elaborated better. Writers may have left this storyline ambiguous so as not to ruin a key reveal early in the story. Aside from the trailer giving away an important detail, I think the writers did a nice job with the setup. It was somewhat confusing with the way the writers adapted it, but it worked. Location-wise, the film acquires the right holiday atmosphere. Some well-known holiday tunes bring out the mood in the background. Overall, Paul Fake delivered a film to viewers who feel lost in their direction right now. Reach out if you need help. After the conclusion of the film, you'll be humming Last Christmas. Put Last Christmas on your watch list. It's a heartfelt film that will make you smile from ear to ear. As we're getting ready for Christmas this week, we're going to have some visitors. Christmas past, present, and yet to come want to talk about the 2009 adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Tune in next time. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.